Okay, you're in Google Sheets and you want to have a drop down with color. So I'm going to show you three different ways you can display the color. One would be in what Google Sheets calls a chip style. The other option is to show the color in the entire cell. And then I'll also show you how to apply the color to the entire row. So first of all, I'm going to select the cells where I want the drop down. And I'm going to go to insert drop down. And then for me, it's just very simple. I just want yes and no. So I can type those values in these two boxes here. The other alternative, if you don't want to type the values in and you already have them somewhere in the sheet, would be to have yes and no somewhere on your sheet, normally another sheet. And then you could select drop down from range. And that would then allow you to select those cells. Either way, you're going to get yes and no in these drop downs. But for us, we can keep this really simple. We can just have yes as our first option and no as our second. And then all we have to do is choose a color for each of these values. So I'm selecting green for yes and red for no. Now down here, if you go to advanced options, you can choose a display style. So the default is chip, which is what we're going to go for. If I click on done, I'll then have my drop downs. Now, if you don't want this chip style, you just choose a different style. So to do that, I just go back into the rule. And then I go to advanced options and I choose arrow. Done. And then the color takes up the whole cell. So what if I want the color to be applied to the whole row rather than just to column F? Well, first of all, I'm going to create the drop downs in column F. So let's insert drop down and I'm going to have my yes and my no advanced options. I'm going to select arrow, click on done. Then I'm going to select all of the rows that I want to apply the color to and I go to format conditional formatting and in the format rules drop down I'm going to select custom formula is that's right at the bottom and then I'm going to click into this box that says value or formula and I'm going to write a formula so I'll start with an equal sign and I have to reference the cell for that row that contains my condition for the formatting so the condition is in F13. That's where the drop down list is equals yes. Now there's one other thing I have to do to this formula. I have to lock the reference to column F and I can do that by putting a dollar in front of it. And that tells Google Sheets that the condition is always in column F. So then I can choose a color for that condition. So I'll choose this green with white font. And I'll click on done. So now if I chose yes from this drop down, it would highlight the whole row. So now I'm going to do the same for no. So I want the no rows to become red. So select all the data, add another rule, change the rule type to custom formula is value or formula is equals F13 equals no. Notice also that the text is in speech marks. Must remember though to put a dollar before the F of F13. And I'll change the color of the cell and the font color. So now if I select no, it highlights the whole of that row with that red format. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.